We have Marianne and David who have volunteered to, to engage in lustful competition. And now I've got your attention. I, uh, here's the deal. Uh, I have people who pay me money every week to, to sponsor this show. And so every week, I try to get their name out and thank them. And every week, nobody listens to me saying the names of my sponsors. Which is troubling. Because, you know, I'm a capitalist. And I want them to get value for their dollar. So I came up with a brilliant idea. I have two volunteers. Come on up, Marianne and David. And they're going to read the names of my sponsors and the taglines for these businesses, uh, except with a bit of a hook. They're going to read these names in their sexiest possible voices. And you, my audience reaction are going to judge which of these two does the best job. You're going to alternate back and forth, right? You and then, okay. And so they're going to go through the, each have four sponsors to read and at the end of the eight readings, uh, by audience applause or just by, by, uh, by fiat, I will decide <laughs> who does the best job of being my sexy ad reader. So, uh, we'll start because, uh, Already, the, the woman has the advantage, so we're going to start Marianne so that David can go last. So, Marianne, you go first. Read your first ad. Read clearly. I hope you spend your time wisely rehearsing. you got to get right up on that microphone or it's not going to work. Take it away. Okay. Bahama Nuts. When you're hot and bothered, it's cooler here. <laughs> you're going to have to sell that more. All right, go ahead. Hey, Brian's Steakhouse. Mmm, meaty. <laughs> he's, he's giving it his all. Ready to debate that. Okay, Barry, you're up. Go, go, go. Southwestern R&D. When it's too hard for you, we'll make it easy. Technology simplified. Oh, nice. <laughs> Phil and chill. Discount prices. Drive through convenience. Now you gotta do that again. I want sex appeal, David. Come on. Phil and chill. Discount prices, drive through convenience. That's the same thing. Go ahead, Mary. Pioneer Restaurants of Texas. Mmm. Tasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Takes on the concrete effects. Concrete and gravy, staining, and polishing. What well, sounded, the word sounded dirty, but you didn't sound dirty. <laughs> Is that it? All right, all right, so, a uh, round of applause. This oh, day, like oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, go ahead, go, go, go. The law offices of Bruce Harris. Bruce is the lawyer who gets you off. <laughs> <laughs> Sanders and Sanders law firm. That's it, just Sanders and Sanders. <laughs> All right, so by, 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 why is my microphone on? Hello. All right, uh, so by, by applause, uh, we got David. Wow. Woo! Or Marianne. Woo! Oh man. Oh right, well, uh, Marianne. Uh, you won a $10 gift card to Fuzzies. Congratulations. And um, uh, and David, you won a gift card to On the Border uh, and to Bahama Bucks. And also, uh, you both win a, two, a, a, two for, a coupon card for Southwestern R&D. A two for one. 10% 10, 10 off computer repair. They're 10% off computer repair. Right. That's basically write your own coupon right there. All right, thank you very much, David and Marianne. Congratulations. All right, I now need a volunteer to come spin this wheel. Come on, Thomas, you going to volunteer to spin this wheel? All right. Down. Marianne. Stop it on H. H. He stopped on H. Amazing! I am so I'm like I'm blown away by because that's what I hoped it would stop on. Uh, H stands for have a chat with Lee. Come around over here. So, uh, what's your name, sir? 
My name is Thomas. Thomas, where are you from, Thomas? I'm from Germany, so I hope you won't make jokes of me. Because um, I won't understand them. If I make jokes of you, it won't be about your Germanicness. Okay. I just, I make jokes of everyone. Okay. Where are you from in Germany? I'm from Trier, that's in the southwest of Germany. Trier? Trier. Uh, yeah. I understand it's an old community. Yes, it is. It is. Feel free to volunteer information. It's the, the oldest city in Germany. So like it's a hundred years old? No, like, I don't know, maybe 3,000. What? That's like a made up number. 3,000 years old? Yeah. Are yeah. uh, there still dinosaurs there? <laughs> no. So what are you doing here in the States? Are you in the military? No, no, I'm here to study here. You guys go to MSU? Yes. What do you study? Uh, finance and accounting. Oh, really? I have a degree in finance. Oh, yes? Yeah, this is... What could happen to you? Okay. Why not? No, there's a lot of reasons why not. My wife could give you 50 or 70 reasons why. Aim higher. Okay. Okay. I'll work. I'll work. Yeah. I, I bet that you're already guaranteed to have a better grade point average in your major than I had. I don't know. What yeah, you know. Trust me. What was yours? Uh, I took 21 hours of finance. And, and in the my GPA within my major was 1.67. Great. <laughs> These Germans are so economical with their language. <laughs> yeah, I was really not that dedicated to the whole academic part. Okay, okay, but but I am. That's good. Uh, I used to look around. This happened in undergraduate, and it happened in when I went to law school, and I would law, yeah. Uh, and I would look at these people who were being so serious and I would think what is wrong with you? This should be more fun and it turns out the joke, the joke was on me. <laughs> yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Let's be our final bit. This is our super happy fun time lunchbox. Okay. <laughs> What's inside? <laughs> Thomas? I see I'm funny. You are killing me! I've never seen, you know, you have to understand, this is an ego thing for me. And I'm not impressing you at all. <laughs> it's important to me that you be at least a little bit off balance or, you know, what's gonna happen? No, you're just waiting for me to shut up. No, 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 not really. Not really? No. <laughs> What are you really waiting for? <laughs> Not really. Okay, smartass. I would like you to reach here and pull out three three sheets of paper. Just just randomly three sheets of paper. Okay. And we're gonna find out how many of my questions are lost in translation. Uh, go ahead, uh, pick a question, and read it out loud for me, please, sir. He's so organized. He has them all laid out. Actually, I thought the question was going to you. No, no, you, you, you're answering these own questions. Oh, okay. These are for you. Oh. I'm, I'm sure I made that clear. I didn't explain this game at all. No. <laughs> these are questions that you answer about yourself. But I'll answer. If you, if you want me to answer, I will. But we'll do the next one. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just read that. <laughs> awesome. Cover the kids' ears. Go ahead. So have you ever seen an X-rated film, not online, with who? Uh, yes I have. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now you have uh, <laughs> So you're 25, you know that they, they used to not all be on the internet. You had to go into a really skeezy business and rent one. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I'm not really sure what an X-rated film is. Awesome! Oh, okay. He's showing me my next way to do this. Yeah. I've seen one. Not online. Uh, no. Only online. Alone. <laughs> Alright! I love honesty. <laughs>